Hi, I'm David DiPietro. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about scale combining. It's a way to open up the neck so that you're not just stuck playing in this uh, normal. Uh, most people find themselves stuck in that, in that kind of a rut. Most of my students always were just stuck playing. That. Um, I'd like to be able to open up the neck for you a little bit and uh, a lot of people shy away from this information or, or music theory in general because they feel that it's a mountain of information too much to tackle. It really isn't. There's just uh, seven diatonic scales and five pentatonic scales and then I have some passing tones that I'll show you. But basically that's all we're going to do uh, here is just um, I'll show you these scales and show you how I combine them and then I would absolutely encourage you to do it your own way. Don't take my word for it. Um, so why don't we start by tuning up. Here's the sixth string, E. Fifth string, A. Fourth string, D. Third string, G. Second string, B. And first string, E. Okay, let's start with diatonic scales, uh, the modes of which there are seven because there are seven notes in a major scale. We'll start in the key of F, which gives you the best stretch. This first one is called Ionian Mode. It starts on the first fret. Here we go. Okay, now we move up a whole step to G, and this is called Dorian Mode. Okay, the next scale, it's Phrygian, starts on the fifth fret. Okay, the next one is on the sixth fret, Lydian. Also, try to uh, use this fingering if you can, because I think you'll find it easier to pull your first finger up into the box, rather than moving your whole hand. Later on, you'll be able, it'll enable you to have more speed, be a little more fluid. Okay. Okay, the next scale is mixed Lydian. This time we're going to reach up with our fourth finger out of the four fret box. When I say the box, I mean one, two, three, four fingers, four frets. So if you're going to move out and you need to get a note beyond that, stretch if it's above with your fourth, and if it's below, stretch with your first. All right, mixed Lydian scale. Next one is on the uh, tenth fret, Aeolian. Goes like this. And last we have Locrian, which you'll notice is one half step shy of our original note F. Um, so you can see that we completed the scale now. It, it's on the 12th fret and it sounds like this. And then we go back down, we end up. Okay, so there are the modes of uh, the diatonic scales. Now these can be mixed um, 
with the pentatonic scales and kind of giving you a sound like rather than just having <laughs> that sound with kind of this uh, with a diatonic run <laughs> and get that kind of effect so why don't uh, we go now to the pentatonic scales okay pentatonic scales now obviously these are the most commonly used for rock and roll. I mean, every blues pa player in the world is, is used. <laughs> but there's a, there's a bunch of them, and there's actually five, and the word pent means five, Latin for five. So I'm going to show you all five uh, areas that you can play them. Now, you know, this is for the key of C. <laughs> but normally people use it over the A minor 7, over the A minor 7, or just the A. So let me just show them to you really quick. First one starts uh, on the third fret. Sounds like this. Also, um, when you pick these, you might want to start with an upstroke on these. So this way you end on a downstroke at the top here, giving you that kind of speed thing. Okay, the next one is uh, going to be on the fifth fret, and it sounds like this. Okay, next we go up to the 8th fret and have uh, this bit. Um, notice the fingering on the chart too, just... Okay, next we go to the 10th fret and we have this. Okay, next we go up to the 12th fret and have again. Okay, so there they are. Those are five pentatonic scales. Uh, now, the interesting thing is to take them and put passing tones into them. For instance, the second one that I showed you, which sounded like this. If I was to take it and add... Uh, be a little more interesting. Um, so these are some passing tones. I'm going to show you five examples. Um, there are certainly a lot more than this, but these are some that I use. So we'll start with the first one. Um, is going to be on the um, third fret again. Okay, so on this first one, you might want to try something like this. Um, The next one is most commonly used. You might want to try some things like... Uh, um, okay.
Okay, next, go up to the eighth fret and try something like. <laughs> Next, we go up to the 10th fret and try something like. This one, up at the 12th fret, may be a little bit more involved. sound you get out of it. So there's five ideas for passing tones. Um, you can mix and match those together. Um, so that's that. Now the next thing I would like to talk about is how you're going to combine these scales. In order to do that, we have to talk about something else, and that is keys. Okay, in order to be able to properly apply these scales and combine them, you have to understand how keys work. And basically, if you're in the key of G, you had seven notes. <laughs> again, which is one, you have seven chords as well. And all those chords are in the key of G, which means that you can play all those diatonic modes over any of the chords in the key of G. For instance, uh, B minor seven, you can use, which is the Ionian mode. Um, just to understand simply how it works, there's an order that it goes in. Um, it starts out major, now I'm going to follow the scale once again and using the bass note, playing a chord over it. Um, starts out major, minor, minor, major, um, dominant, minor seven, minor seven flat five, and then major. Okay, um, most of most of the rock chords that you hear don't really have um, a designated major or minor because the third doesn't appear. You have one, five, and one, and you seldom hear that. So I kind of, for the purposes of uh, being a little bit edgier sounding, uh, kind of think of it as a minor chord. And if it is a minor chord, say we're in the key of A, um, if it is A minor, then it would be the second chord in the key of G, according to the way I just showed you that chart. Um, so if it is in the key of G, then that means we can play G diatonic scales. But I also told you before that C pentatonic goes over A as well, because it's the relative minor. So scale combining means taking the G diatonic, which is and the uh, pentatonic, which is and coming up with something like okay, um, again Now, that works all the way up the neck. For instance, <coughs> you can go to the next scale in G, uh, which is Dorian, and you find yourself right back at, at this pentatonic. The next one you can go to, say you go to Phrygian, and you'll find yourself close to the passing tones of the third pentatonic. So that's uh, if you were to go to the Lydian next.
next, you'd find yourself pretty close to the fourth pentatonic. <laughs> against it. Okay, uh, the next one would be um, going to the Mixolydian, which is... Going to the fifth pentatonic. Okay, so there you have it. Um, what I did was I took the diatonic modes from G. Now remember, I'm thinking of A as the second chord in the key of G. Once again, because it's not designated major or minor. You just have that one five one happening. So we can do what I said. We can take it, think of it as the second chord in the key of G, and use all those G scales against it. And at the same time, we can use the pentatonics with all the passing tones or without the passing tones, whatever you like. And you can do this now in every single key. And what you're going to find is all of a sudden you have a, a tremendous amount of uh, area that you can play in rather than being stuck in that, <laughs> that one little spot that everyone seems to be stuck in. So um, that's basically it. That's what I wanted to talk about. Now, the other thing is, of course, vibrato. Whenever you play, uh, vibrato is a very important thing to most players. Um, I like the slower. I'm sorry. you know, be conscious of not doing the peace thing thing, if you can, you know, unless you really like it, but it doesn't seem to be as fluid at the end of a... <laughs> gives you a little bit nicer sound, especially in the recording studio. Um, okay, so we've talked about now diatonic, pentatonic, pentatonics with passing tones and how you can combine them and a little bit of, about uh, vibrato and uh, I guess that's basically what I wanted to talk about so just concentrate on that and try and do it in as many different keys as you can and uh, I'll be back again to talk about some other things so thanks and keep on playing <laughs>